Numbers, gold, money, movement. <laughs> These are things that motivate me. The Notorious has worked his way into becoming one of the highest paid athletes in the world. With all this money coming in, he was quick to splurge on some outlandish purchases, including a $2.3 million mansion in his native Ireland. When he's in Vegas, he rents multi-million dollar mansions, and the man likes to travel in style. Connor has been spotted cruising in the most luxurious cars on earth, including three different Lamborghinis and three different Rolls Royce. All his whips though, they ain't just for him. He gifted a series of BMW 5 to his family and bought his lady love a fully loaded Range Rover. Dana, 60 G's baby! <laughs> we ain't just talking about cars, Connor has expensive taste and decks himself out in the finest threads, jewelry and body ink. At the time of this recording, Conor McGregor's net worth is estimated at $27 million, but it's predicted that he will bulk up his bank account an extra $100 million following his fight with Floyd Mayweather. He's come a long way from celebrating $1,000 purses. Fans wanted to see this fight. It's the most talked about fight on the planet right now, and it will be the biggest fight ever in the history of two people punching each other. Conor McGregor landed himself in the number 24 spot on the 2017 Forbes list of highest paid athletes and is the wealthiest MMA fighter in the world. In this video, we're going to take a look at Conor's financial come up and what he spent his fortune on here for you on The Rich Life. My name is Michael McCredden and I actually got tickets to watch Conor take on Eddie Alvarez in New York City from my friends at SeatGeek, so this video is sponsored by them. I also went to the Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor press conference here in Toronto and I was sitting front row. Connor looked me right in the eye, and I got a really good feeling he's watched my before their famous video I made on him. So be sure to check that out. Enough from me. Now let's get into the rich life. If I share with you my story, would you share your dollar with me? So I'm going to kick things off with a question. What 2017 feature film was Conor McGregor supposed to appear in? Leave your guesses down below. The answer will be at the end of this video. Conor McGregor was born on July 14, 1988 in Crumlin, located on the outskirts of downtown Dublin. The family was working class and Conor, his sisters and his parents shared a small two bedroom home. For more on this story, be sure to check out his Before Their Famous video. It's high school friends of yours. Yeah. And they were saying that, you know, they, they all went into different jobs, good paying jobs back in they would always wonder like what's Connor doing what is he doing yeah. like, the road to rags from riches wouldn't happen overnight Connor was relying on a weekly allowance of $235 from the Irish government just to get by this all changed in 2013 when he was signed with the UFC and in his first fight he took home a $60,000 bonus for knockout of the night and that was on top of his wages 60 G's baby Connor would go on to win eight of his nine UFC fights, which is one loss to Nate Diaz in 2016. As his star power brought in more and more pay-per-views and sponsorship money, his take home would quickly skyrocket. In UFC 194, where Connor went up against Jose Aldo, he was paid $500,000 for the fight, $45,000 for his Reebok outfitting deal, and another $50,000 for winning the Performance of the Night award. He also got a cut of the pay-per-view money, rumored to be between three to five percent which would see his overall pay going well into the millions. Things only got sweeter for Connor with him collecting the highest fight purse in MMA history of $3 million for his UFC 202 victory over Nate Diaz and then again for his UFC 205 win over Eddie Alvarez. On top of this, there was his payout from the pay-per-views, they were both best-selling events, and of course his endorsement deals. All in all, Connor finished off 2016 worth easily $27 million, and that's something worth celebrating. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to sponsors, Connor has worked with Monster Energy, Reebok, and Bud Light. He's also got a deal going with the luxury car company Rolls Royce, who gifted him a custom made car. <laughs> McGregor has posted pictures on a social media feed showing him wearing Nike training equipment and he's been pushing hard with his plugs for Beats by Dre. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. The biggest payday for Connor will come following his bout with Floyd Mayweather. The two men signed a confidentiality agreement when they signed their contracts, meaning the exact split will not be revealed. What's certain is that Mayweather will be getting more with estimates ranging from 70 to 75%. At the time of this recording, the fight has yet to happen, but estimates predict that Connor will be putting away $100 million, win or lose. 
All right, now we're gonna get into the fun part of this video, what Connor spends his fortune on. But before we do that, I need to tell you about my friends over at SeatGeek. Boom! This is the world's largest event ticket search engine. What they do is search all the ticket prices available on the web to find the absolute best seat at the best price. SeatGeek puts out a one to 100 score to let you know if you're getting a good deal or a bad one. Green means good, red means bad. Now I use SeatGeek for UFC 205 and truthfully had the best night of my life. I got you guys all 20 bucks back when you use the promo code FAMOUS. So go ahead and grab yourself some tickets to your next event and uh, maybe I'll see you there. All right, let's get back into this rich life. The first thing Connor did with his earnings was spoil his family. He paid off his parents' house and gave them enough money so they would never have to work again. If that weren't enough, he went around handing out BMW 5 Series to his sisters and his parents, which come at a starting price of 62 k It was nice he took care of his fam, because he continued to live with his folks while he was in Ireland until moving out with his girlfriend into this $2.3 million mansion in a private estate in County Kildare. His girlfriend got a fully loaded range Rover and for himself, Connor picked up a Cadillac Escalade, a McLaren, and a BMW i8. But his most prized possession is his Lamborghini Huracan Avia. Cars like this, they do not exist in Ireland, but not to fret, Connor is setting up a luxury car dealership to import these fancy whips to the Emerald Isle. We're still talking about the money Connor has spent back home. While he's in Vegas, it's an entirely different story. There he rents some high-end mansions, and uh, well, he's got a special name for his home away from home. Hello everybody, my name is the notorious Connor McGregor, and today I'm gonna take you on a tour of the Mac Mansion. In the lead up to UFC 189, McGregor and his entourage stayed at the Mac Mansion number one, which was a seven bedroom palace listed at $3.475 million. Master bedroom's filthy, well. My lady is gone, otherwise it would have been spotless. This is the master bathroom, big shower. In 2015, Connor decided to upgrade to a new six bedroom Mac Mansion number two, located in a personal gated 1.5 acre compound on Don Mountain with an overview of the Las Vegas Strip. It comes complete with a 50 foot infinity pool and a 10 person spa. While in Vegas, Connor rolls around in a Lamborghini Aventador, or his pick of Rolls Royce being spotted in a Don, a Phantom Drophead, and a Ghost. Sometimes he likes to take it easy and just pull up in a Range Rover. Connor also likes to dress to the nines. His suits cost anywhere from $5,500 to $8,500. His sports coats cost anywhere from $4,000 to $10,000. And his personal clother, David August Heal, stated that Connor spends over a million dollars a year on clothing alone. Who wears watches to tell the time? I don't wear a watch to tell the time. I know what time it is. It's my time. Although Connor doesn't care much for the time on his watch, he does, however, love to sport some of the world's most expensive watches. There are entire websites dedicated to Connor's watch collection, with him having an assortment of Rolexes. The most expensive of all I could find was a Richard Mile RM5901 worth an eye watering $620,000. Then there were Connor's tattoos. He got his first when he was drunk on holidays for 20 euro, but as soon as he came into money, he splurged on a full body of ink. He likely paid about 150 to 200 dollars an hour for each of his pieces of work, and all in all, he spent about you know 10 thousand dollars to make himself the crazy gorilla he is. You know, <laughs> stupid. So what's next for Connor? Well, he plans on taking over Hollywood as an action star. He did have a role lined up in Vin Diesel's Triple X Return of Xander Cage, but he had to pull out following his loss to Nate Diaz. And that's the answer to the question I asked you off the top. So guys, let me know who's next on The Rich Life. Connor McGregor's now in the can. Perhaps I'll follow this up with a Floyd Mayweather one. Be sure to let me know who's next in the comments down below. My name is Michael McCrudden. I'll see you guys in another video. Boom! His sports coast cost, his sports coast his sports coats, his sports coats, co his sports coats cost anywhere from four. Oh my god! His sports coats cost anywhere from four thousand to ten thousand dollars, and his personal clother, Dan David August Heal. Oh. His sports coats cost anywhere from four thousand to ten thousand dollars, and his personal clother, Daniel August Heal.